Welcome back everybody to the Life Size Master Chief tutorial series. In this video I'm going to begin discussing painting steps because this thing is finally ready to be painted. It's going to be amazing when we add some color to it. And so I'm going to be walking you guys through all the paint colors that I've picked and all the different methods that I'm using. So let's get right into it. For the green of Master Chief's armor, I'm going to be using a Rust-Oleum Satin Eden. Now I know it looks a little bit light going on the pieces, but trust me, once this thing is weathered with a black wash or a brown wash or two, it's really going to bring that brightness down and it just about perfectly matches the Master Chief as seen in Halo Infinite because the color of his armor definitely changes between games, but I feel like this is the color for Halo Infinite. I'm just going to be spraying it all over these parts. In total, I used about five cans of this stuff, but I also went through a couple different iterations where I painted it and then realized that I needed to do more sanding and filling. So you might not need as much as I do, but that's about the total amount that I needed. So once that green is dried, we can start adding the other colors. Now initially I just painted on these black details with some black acrylic paint, but didn't really like how the finish settled. I felt like it was a little bit too matte. So I had to resort to a lot of taping. We're gonna tape all these areas off that we want to remain green, and then we'll just paint everything else black. So Master Chief's armor actually has two darker shades of his undersuit underneath the green. One is more black and the other one is more of a slate gray. So now here I've got all the pieces taped over again, but this time we're gonna be painting on the gray. Now I just used a bunch of painter's tape here because I thought it would look cool to see like a blue toned Master Chief, but if you wanna save money on a bunch of tape, use some newspapers or saran wrap to cover up those large areas and just use tape for the edges and some of the detail areas. You don't have to tape the whole thing. Very similar to how the green is going to work, this gray is a little bit bright and it contrasts pretty harshly against the black of the undersuit. But once we go to weather this thing, we're going to do some black washes over the gray and do some airbrushing with some black paint. So it's really gonna to tone that gray down and make that contrast less powerful. And it's really gonna blend the armor together very well. So now that we've kind of finished the first pass of painting, I wanted to do something just to help ensure the integrity of the statue as a whole. Right now, all the pieces remain separated and we're just being held in by friction and kind of gravity. And so I'm gonna be putting some Velcro patches on the little connecting pegs for all the pieces. Well, not for all the pieces, but the arms specifically, because those are the only ones that worry me when they're held in by gravity alone. So I'm gonna put some Velcro patches on the ends of the keys as well as on the sides of like the arm and the torso themselves. I'm gonna use some E6000 just to help ensure that those Velcro patches stay in place. The backside is sticky, but this is not something I really wanna risk. I would be devastated if I came to the unit and saw Master Chief's arm popped off and it would likely not really survive a fall from that height very well. Putting the arms in and taking them out actually requires a fair amount of effort, so that's pretty assuring. But I do want to do like a setup where I put some ropes underneath his arms and kind of just let him stand over the weekend, see how well that Velcro holds up. And if it falls out, that rope will help catch it and ideally prevent it from any sort of damage. But that's going to be a test for another time. So in the next video, we'll do a fair amount of weathering and trust me guys, it makes a huge difference. Sorry I haven't been as active making these full length instructional videos. I know I'm a bit behind on where my TikToks and shorts are right now, but it is my goal to catch up in time for the finale and reveal. So until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.